Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I'm Carrie Muggleston and each week I pull a card from a deck and talk to you about what's going to happen this week for you. So the pull, the card, the deck we're using now is called The Shaman's Dream. Um, it's by Colette Baron reed and Alberto Villato. They co-created it together. It's a beautiful deck. And this week's card has a lot of symbolism, so I want you to watch for that. First, and so I'll put a picture of the deck, after, of the card when we're done. Now, first I want to talk about a little bit of housekeeping. My membership is up and running. It's awesome. We'll do, we do two weeks, two times I go in there live and we do a questions with Carrie, um, coffee with Carrie, and then I'll do a live reading, a moon ceremony, plus there's lessons, videos, worksheets that I download and a meditation each month. So it's awesome. If you're interested in that, you can go to my website and go under the Spunky Tribe. So, and it also should be in my Instagram bio if you want to have more information with that. So this week's card is actually pretty cool. Well, they're all really cool, but this week's card is mindful. So this has a lot. Can you see all the symbolism in that card? Holy cow. So mindful. This is super important. We need to be careful what you need to be more, you need to look at what is going on in your mind, especially this week, um, especially those who have the gift of miracles or manifestation. So we all have this gift, right? But just like mediumship, just like, you know, other gifts, um, the people, people who have gifts to make medicines or herbs or things like that, everybody has their specific one that they're really, really good at. So everybody can manifest, everybody can see ghosts, everybody can make medicines. It's just like everybody can golf, but there's always something that you're better at than others. It's like our clairs. There's always going to be a clair that you hear spirit talk more than better than others. You're either going to hear them better or you're going to see them. So just know that there's all, all these, all these different gifts, all these spiritual gifts that you can have. And some of them you're going to have stronger than others. So those, this is for everybody. This card is for everybody because we all have the manifestation gift, but especially those two who really, really have this gift pretty strong needs to be more aware of this. You probably need to be more aware more often than just weekly. So now this week, you need to be mindful of what is running through your mind. You need to make sure you're not thinking negative thoughts or make sure now I'm all for not, you know, positive, neg you know, the, you know how you can, you, you can't always be positive 24 seven. I agree with that. And I know that sometimes you got to process stuff. You have to have thoughts that hurt or, and you have to deal with your emotions. Sometimes you have to figure out what triggers you. I'm all for that this week though. I want you to watch and be mindful of how you're talking to yourself. What are you telling yourself? What are the things that you're saying? Are you saying, I'm not good at this. This is never going to work. Why do I have to be like this? Why is my relationship not working? Um, you can ask those questions, but I want you to imagine what you do want instead of what you don't want. Because for some reason, spirit wants you to really be mindful this week of what you're thinking. And that could be because next week's going to be a big week of creating things. And so they want you to manifest that, or it could be that those of you in the vicinity of this video need to be more mindful of what you're thinking because we're going to start, you're going to start the healing process. So always be mindful of what you're putting through your head. I want you to really watch that this week. And remember too, last week, I think we talked a little bit about community or the week before. That's great. But, and this, I know last week we did talk about this. We talked about how it's great to have a mentor but always be careful because I don't want you to compare yourselves. Well, with this mindful thing, I don't want you to get involved with a lot of group thinking. So it's great to, you know, have a community and it's great to have a mentor. But I, I want you to always check yourself and make sure that what you're doing is right for you. There are no rules. There are no, you know, set ways of how you do things. And so I just want to make sure that you're not in these groups that you're not gossiping. It's, it's, that is the lowest frequency that you could have. And, and you're not like comparing yourself and doing those things. So really be mindful about what you are putting into your mind this week. 
because I feel like next week's going to be, we're going to create something pretty awesome or next week something is going to come that's pretty awesome. Um, so I always want you to just be mindful of what you're thinking. What are you putting out there? What are you creating without even realizing it? And so, I mean, again, we can't always be positive 24 seven and that's fine. But just be aware of what you're creating. Just be aware of what you're thinking and be more mindful of it because then knowledge is power, right? Then you can, you know, kind of access how you're at. And also too, just remember that calmness and quiet time will, will bring up your intuition and kind of let go of fear. Does that make sense? So if you are... If you're quiet and you're calm and you really think, you know, really kind of, and let's face it, when you're meditating, you can't always, it's almost impossible to never, ever have a thought. So whoever kind of says that is, is kind of, it's for me, it hasn't been possible. There's always thoughts running through your brain. But the thing is, is some of them are from spirit. Some of them are from um, your spiritual team. It's not the, the main thing is to be calm and be calm enough to know in a meditative state, what is your intuition? What is spirit compared to what is the, the constant do this, do this, do this, or what about this, the noise, the garbage. So that's what we're working on this week. We're going to work on figuring out because here's why. Spirit wants you to kind of nail this and figure out what's going on in your mind because when you live in the now is when spirit can talk to you the most. That's why they always want you to live in the now, be in the now, not worry about what happened in the past and not have anxiety about what's coming up in the future. Because when you're in the now and you're mindful of what you're thinking and you kind of know that you're not creating something that's going to be chaos in the future, then that's when spirit can really, you can really tap into your intuitive and spirit can really talk to you. I hope that makes sense, but I just really, really want to watch you make sure what's going on in your mind. Okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. Love yourself and don't be so go, 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 go. And I had to really work on that this week. That was, I always had to be doing something because my mind would go places. So just make sure that you can be calm and, or, you know, even when you're driving down the street, ask, just kind of check your mind, see what's in it. And if you notice yourself thinking thoughts, kind of not healing thoughts over and over again, I want you to create something instead of what you're afraid is going to happen. I want you to create something. What do you want to happen? If you're creating, okay, I don't think my marriage is going to work. I think that we're going to do this. I want you to create, sometimes it could be wishful thinking, but I want you to create I want you to create what you want to happen instead of what you're afraid to happen. And then that way you kind of put that out there instead and, and you know, you've done your best, right? So lots and lots. So as you can see, I think that's a face of some sort and that's the mind. Okay. So look at what's all in there. I will post a picture of this one afterwards because this has got so much stuff in it. There are trees. There's a clock over here. Um, there's an umbrella, kind of like one of those drink umbrellas that you put in your drinks. There's also, I think that's a cake. I think that's a cake back there. Um, a merry-go-round with horses in the back, that one of those merry-go-rounds. A rose, a key, um, a keyhole again. There's another keyhole which means you're trying to find answers to some solutions, right? So, and that might be another reason why spirit wants you to be so mindful of what you're thinking because spirit might be able to be dropping in some, some ideas or, or so listen, cause listen for it, your intuitiveness, like be mindful, listen for answers because these are the symbolic answers. So if you're asking spirit lots of questions this week, then you need to erase kind of all of the garbage that's going on in your mind and listen for the answers. And these symbols can be some of those answers. So be mindful of what's going on through your head. Um, rose, trees, there's stars, an umbrella for a drink. Oh, there's music notes, music notes right there. So if you hear music while you're in the car or sometimes if you just ask a question, listen to the lyrics. 
See if that's what's coming through. Um, there's this big, tall, like, building kind of thing. So there's lots and lots of signs this week. Lots of signs. There's a lantern down here. So I will definitely, definitely post this picture and watch for these specific signs. So if you have questions for Spirit this week and if you're trying to figure out some stuff going on in your life, I want you to ask, I want you to put it out there, but I also want you to be mindful and be in the now and get all that garbage out of your head and listen for the answers because there's a lot this week, a lot of symbols to watch for. So I hope that helps. I really do love you guys. I know that you, I'm so appreciative of you and I'm so appreciative that you love these and that you want them to keep happening because it just helps me I know sometimes I really, my brain goes so fast and I think and I, and I'm, and I do, honestly, I do have ADHD. So I go and I start on one thing and I go on a tangent, but I really hope that you get the gist of it or you get what the meaning of this is for this week and every week. Um, because I really, really set the intention before these that I put out there what you guys need for this week. So those of you in the vicinity of this video that are listening for this week, watch for these signs and really be mindful about what you're thinking. Really create a good atmosphere in your brain. It's so important because my manifestors out there, really strong manifestors, all of you, all of us are manifestors, but I just really want you to be careful about what you think or what you put out there, okay? Okay, so... I love you guys and I will see you next week.